a super fast little video on memory in this particular unit of neuroscience. We're talking about how the brain works and behaviors and how we actually learn things. Memory is something that's very important for us as humans. Otherwise, we forget who our family is and lots of sad stuff can happen. Memories can take us back. They can make us sad. All this stuff that sticks in our brain from all these synapses forming Memories that we don't use can end up disappearing. That's called neural pruning, where synapses can disappear and actual neurons can actually break down if you don't need some of those connections. So it's just a quick little application with regards to the syllabus, but it's a good time to think about how memory is applicable to learning all this IB biology stuff. If you're here at one of the options, and you've been following kind of the regular topic one through topic 11 sequence, then you've already covered a lot of material already. And it's time to go back and start to try to recall all the information that you've learned and try to make connections between all the topics. So there's a good book here that I've read and you should definitely read. It's called Make It Stick, The Science of Successful Learning. Um, it'll give you some advice on how you should be studying um, not just biology, but anything in life and things that you're interested in learning tend to stick more as well too. So by definition, memory means it's the process of encoding, storing, and accessing information. Encoding means converting the information that you're taking in, like what is a prokaryotic cell, what is a eukaryotic cell, to a storable form. Storing can be for short or long term. If you were like me, then you had some bad strategies, for example, such as cramming the the night before and you try to store the information for short term but you just can't do that much cramming the night before you can try to do some things if you are trying to cram at least try to quiz yourself along the way instead of just reading things and hoping that it's going to stick if you really want to make it stick you need to quiz yourself you need to cover up the notes you need to put vocabulary words in front of you and then try to tell a story not the other way around where you see a definition and you try to recall the word you need to be able to tell the story and if you don't do that you're not going to be able to make new connections in your brain and form new synapses that are going to last longer. That's why you should be doing that kind of stuff now throughout the process while you're learning, leaving little questions for yourself in your notes that when you can come back to, it'll come, uh, it'll revisit your brain a little bit faster instead of having to wait all the way till the end to go back and recall stuff from like topic one, for example. Accessing is the process of recalling information. It's used in your thought processes. Back in the day, there were some crazy experiments that were done on humans. Unfortunately, or fortunately, we also learned a lot of stuff about those types of things. Different types of very, nowadays would be considered unethical treatments were used. So people who had epilepsy, for example, here's just one example that the syllabus wants to point out to you. In 1953, an epileptic patient named Henry Molaisen basically was epileptic. And so one of the treatments, they decided to remove parts of his brain and they removed parts of his hippocampus, basically. And as a result of that, he couldn't form any new memories. Poor guy. But what did we learn? The hippocampus plays a role in memory. So don't mess this part up. Don't do things that mess this part up, or you will stop learning, and you won't be successful in your exams, and life's going to suck a little bit. So put in just as much attention into figuring out the best study techniques to help you learn material not just surface level learning but you have to start with surface level learning flashcards will help with that so that the words just come to you and you can figure them out there's no harm in doing that but as long as you take it to the next step or you take that surface level learning and then you'll be able to make connections between them that's going to get you the higher level scores the sixes and the sevens the student who can make a connection between a random topic in uh, unit five and a random topic in unit one, even if it's hard, you'll be able to find some connection. So if you're studying something like the kidney, and I say glomerulus, and then I say eukaryotic cell, you should try to make a link somehow between the words eukaryotic cell and glomerulus by telling a story and finding the link all the way back. Good luck with all of that. Finally, how do you study to learn?